Hello, Amore san We are very happy to see you here. Thank you for uh, having us for this webinar today. Uh, we can see you well. We can hear you well. You're welcome to share your screen and we're ready to go. Okay, great. So can you see my slide in full screen? Yes, it's perfect. Okay, great. So uh, I'm picking my presentation. Hello, everyone. My name is Yuka Omote from Kyoto University of Advanced Science. Today, I'll be talking about our university and also the admission uh, procedures. So first of all, I would like to uh, tell why Japan. Probably all of you guys here are interested in studying in Japan. And I just uh, want to tell you briefly about uh, why studying in Japan. So first of all, safe and convenient lifestyle and also the reasonable tuition fees and living costs. And as you may know, Japan is very known for technology and robotics field and high academic standard for specialized field like technology, science, and robotics. And also, you can find rich culture and beauty across four seasons. So um, we are located in Kyoto, Japan. And let me briefly tell you where the Kyoto is. So please take a look at the map on the right top. It's, um, Kyoto is located almost the center of Japan. It takes about two hours from Tokyo, the capital, by Shinkansen High Speed Rail. And from Osaka, the second biggest city in Japan, it takes about 30 minutes by local train. And this is the picture of Kyoto. And you, uh, as you can see, uh, you can find a lot of uh, beautiful sceneries throughout the four seasons. And moreover, uh, Kyoto is known for a city of academics. In Kyoto, we have 40 universities and colleges, and I would say Kyoto is one of the most uh, student-friendly city in Japan. And also, Kyoto is the ancient capital of Japan, so uh, we get a lot of uh, visitors from overseas and also from uh, all over Japan. And for people in Kyoto, people are very friendly for uh, from uh, people from different worlds. And also in Kyoto, uh, it's not like Tokyo, it's not uh, too much hustle, too, uh, too busy, but more relaxed and laid back. So you can see the good combination of urban life and nature. And last of all, Kyoto is a hub of world famous high tech industries. So today I put six logos of, of well known in uh, manufacturer industry born in Kyoto, and you probably know on the very left, Nintendo, these are the companies uh, founded in Kyoto and they have their headquarters in Kyoto. So I would say in Kyoto, it's a great environment for you to study like business and also like um, high, tech, techno uh, high technologies. So moving on, let me tell you about the overview of our university. So Kyoto University of Advanced Science, uh, in short, we call it KUAS, it's founded in 1969 as a private university. About 3,700 students are studying in two campuses, and I would say our university is considered like middle size, so a little bit smaller size university in Japan. And about 10% of the student body is international student. So about three, uh, we have about, as I mentioned, we have about 330 international students from 40 different countries. So this environment provides such a great experience for both Japanese and international students to get to know about the different world and perspectives. And we have two campuses in Kyoto. One main campus is called Uzumasa campus. And this is the main, uh, this is located in city side, which we have a convenient access to downtown Kyoto, where you can find theaters, museum, shopping street, and uh, manga museum. And downtown Kyoto is about 10 to 15 minutes subway ride from the campus. And also Shinkansen, like high speed rail station, is about 15 minutes away from campus. And another campus is called Kameoka campus. This one is located in a big countryside. It's about 15 minutes free shuttle bus ride from uh, Uzumasa campus. And Kameoka campus has vast sight, as you can see in these pictures. So um, we have baseball ground, soccer field, and huge love for bioenvironmental science department. In 2023, last year, we built the electrical vehicle test driving course, and also we have a drone test driving field in this Kamel campus. At the moment, our university offers five undergraduate colleges and five postgraduate schools, and these are the five 
Faculty of Bioenvironmental Science, Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Economics and Business Administration, Faculty of Humanities, Faculty of Health and Medical Science. These are the faculty offered in Japanese. And also we have three faculties uh, conducted in English medium, and I will tell you later. So our university is one of the kind university, and one of the reasons is this person, chairman of the university. As a matter of fact, he is the top Japanese business person, CEO of a company called Nidic. His name is Mr. Nagamori Shigenobu, and Nidic is the Japanese manufacturer and distributor of electric motors. Their products are found in hard disk drive, electric appliances, automobiles, and others. This company has the largest global share, uh, largest global market share for tiny spindle motors. And this company has, uh, uh, he leads 300 companies over 50 countries. And our university curriculum is made to develop the well-rounded engineer or business person or researcher and uh, to be successful in real world industries. So as I mentioned previously, uh, we have three faculty programs offered in English, which is Faculty of Bioenvironmental Science, Faculty of Engineering, and Faculty of Economics and Business Administration. So these are the three uh, programs we offer in English. And so let me tell you the key feature of our university's English track programs. First of all, all in English. So if you even did not know any alphabet in Japanese, like hiragana, katakana, it's all okay. We don't require any Japanese skills for you. So, but once you enroll the university, we will teach you Japanese. We offer intensive Japanese classes and this program or these classes are mandatory for under, all undergraduate program students. It is very important to know Japanese in order to, you know, blend in the culture and learn, uh, outside of the campus. So also, it is very uh, important to know Japanese in order to get a job in Japan. So we will teach you Japanese. And also our university program is very practical. You will have a lot of group work, team project, and we uh, offer internship opportunity or industrial collaboration project. So you will learn practically on uh, during our university program. And last of all, we offer internship um, and also we support your job hunting while you're in university. So let me tell you a little bit about detail of our uh, like academic programs. So first of all, faculty of engineering. So we offer mechanical and electrical system engineering program. And for these students interested in automotive, motor, drones, robotics, energy, IoT software, mechatronics, uh, our university engineering program will be your choice. And this program is built to meet a strong demand for global and street smart engineers. It is highly career focused programs. And we have faculties rich in diversity under this faculty of engineering. 35% of our uh, faculty members are from abroad. We also have Japanese professors do have many experiences globally. Majority of Japanese professors are either from University of Tokyo, and, which is ranked 29 in uh, times higher education, and also from Kyoto University, which is ranked 55 in times higher education world ranking. And one of the uh, uniqueness of our university program or engineering program is uh, this capstone project. And this is an example of our career focused programs. At our university, we offer a capstone program, which is practical learning opportunity. It's like an internship, but more practical. So capstone program is one year project and this uh, student will sl split into the small group of four to five students and will be challenged with real industrial company problems. They can choose the company from the list of 50 partner of KUAS. And while this project, students visit the company or sometimes professionals come to the university and uh, come to the campus to figure out the problems. And as the project goes, they worked on a lot of experiments and discussions and create the prototypes. And finally, in the end, students make a proposal to get the feedback from the professionals. 
And sometimes students receive the offer for further collaboration by the industries. And uh, this, this is the new program starting from 2025 September, the Faculty of Bioenvironmental Science program. This will open in 2025. It is located in Kameoka campus. And Kameoka is very nature oriented and has plenty of facilities and space to do field work and research. And it is separated into two departments, Applied Biological Science and Environment and Bioresource Science. With our cross-curricular program, students are free to choose class from both sides, allowing them to become vast within their field. And students of the faculty, the spot faculty, will have the opportunity to do collaboration with local startups and do the research with other local university and research institutions. And here is another new English track program studying in 2025. We have Global Business and Economics program. Our new program, uh, this is our another new English program. And given the longevity of business in Kyoto and the city's deep roots in commerce, it is ideal place to acquire your business skills. And this program is run by expert professors with the rich business experiences. And these, these, uh, these leaders will provide you to knowledge in both management and economic aspect of business. And with the strong tie with the industry, our university is set to provide a huge amount of learning opportunity both on and off campus. We will be sending out students to practice and internship at such establishments. Now, let me show you some facilities. Lot, lots of cutting edge equipment to cause the environment are here to make the most of your college experiences. And about the accommodation, we have five international dormitory for you. So we have dormitory resident A, on-campus dormitory, one on-campus dormitory, and four off-campus dormitories. And depending on the size of the room and destination from the campus, and also the, uh, the meal plan, uh, it, the price varies. And you can get this same information on our website. So please check on your website. And for dormitory tour, if you are interested in to check on each dormitory, if you go to our website, then, sorry, if you go to our SNS site, like Facebook or Instagram, and our international student will give you a tour of our each dormitories. Next, let me tell you about a little bit about uh, extracurricular activities. Our university offers 26 sport club activities and also 11 culture club activities. And a lot of international students join these activities. University is not only for education, but also for enriching life experiences in younger age, right? So many international students enjoy their experiences studying in Japan uh, and also uh, on campus. So uh, next, let me tell you the fees and scholarship. So this is the annual academic fee for each program. Each program has a different fees. And engineer for engineering program, you will uh, for your initial year, you will need about eleven thousand U.S. dollars. For bioenvironmental science, it's about uh, ten point five thousand U.S. dollars. And for global business and economics, it's about eight thousand U.S. dollars. And these uh, fees are for your initial year. And what about monthly living expenses? So monthly living expenses in Kyoto is about seven hundred fifty. 40 US dollars. This includes the accommodation and food and personal expenses. And our university offer a scholarship program. And we have two different scholarship. One is super quasi scholarship. And also the other one is a quasi scholarship. Super quasi scholarship, of course, is very competitive, but this includes a tuition exemption, admission fee exemption, and stipend of 1.2 million Japanese yen. And this pretty much covers your academics and also living expenses. Quasi e scholarship is tuition reduction type of scholarship on the level of 100% and 50% tuition reduction level. And next is about the admission information for 2025. And this is the key feature, no Japanese proficiency required, as I mentioned, and you can complete your application online. 
including interviews. And we only offer September enrollment. So this is the application procedure. You check the schedules and requirements first and read the application guideline and gather all the documents and submit application online. We have a, uh, our own plat application platform. So please log on to the, our platform and submit all the application documents. And then you may or may not uh, receive the online interview in invitation and for those who were invited to take the online interview but this does not reflect to your result and finally you get the result announcement dear omoto san uh, unfortunately yes. your time is up uh, oh. we have to thank you and uh, invite our next speaker okay so thank you very much for listening to the presentation uh, and for further questions please visit our um, table or booth online thank you thank anton you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here today yeah. with us. And uh, dear attendees, I would like to reiterate that all your questions you're welcome to address to the personal chat of Kyoto University of Advanced Science at the platform. Thank you so much. And, Thank you. Uh,